Hey guys, so I had recorded a little video this morning and apparently it's corrupt or something. I can't get it off my phone. So I'm recording this right now so I can put something together because I am on my way down to our property in Terlingua, Texas. We bought 20 acres down there and I want to check it out. Looking at it on Google Maps, it looks like there's a big chunk of uh, vegetation and whatnot, although it could be rocks. But looking back a few years, I noticed that uh, it was all brown and sandy, and then all of a sudden it started turning what appears to be green, although it could be black. Um, so, so need to go look at it. I brought my drone with, and I'll be recording that. There's a plane going over, of course, so that should be wonderful. Um, anyway, so I also recorded some stuff on my my uh, moringa trees, they were kind of looking bad for a little bit, but I think they're, they're turning better Boys again. They're doing wonderfully again. Um, they all had yellow leaves, you can see maybe on that one. Oh, there's some dead leaves, some little dead edges on the leaves. I've come to the conclusion that that's because of uh, ozone poisoning. We have this electronic air cleaner in the house, and I run the uh, fan, or was running the fan constantly to circulate the air and it basically dumps a bunch of ozone in the air. Um, as soon as I turned that off yesterday, they started, well, greening back up, and like most, most all four of these were yellow. Um, kind of like this guy is, not as bad as him, but interestingly, since yesterday, there's this little bit has shot up, you can see, oops, this one here kind of did its thing, you know, it bends off and then a new shoot comes off the end. And these are new leaves as of yesterday. After turning, after turning off that air cleaner um, and the circulation fan. So, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's that or if it's just that it's cooler in here, or warmer in here now, and they like that better. I don't know what it is, but you can see probably the lighter leaves right here are a new shoot yesterday on those and those. And this one's got a little bit of one that's coming in. It's got a new bud there. So, and this one as well. So, looks like we can't run that, either can't run the air conditioner and have it down at like 73 degrees or can't have the ozone in here. I'm not sure which one it is. So maybe I'll try. It actually looks like it's working quite well out here considering how dark it is. So you can probably see our garden. I can see it in the display so you should be able to see it. Although it's got the uh, ISO pretty high. You can see noise in this. That's all right. It's still you could see. Um, you know what, let's walk in here. Basically, it's really, these broccoli cauliflowers, whatever that is, are really shooting up fast now, as is our kale that's taken off. So, some of the stuff that was taking a really long time to get started has just shot up. Actually, that one tomato right there is amazing. It was like a tiny little guy when we put it in, and only a few days it's sprouted up dramatically being out here. One of our corns has a cob on it. Trying to make sure I don't step on any of the... Oh, here, we got a bunch of tomatoes too. They're still green, of course, but a few days, and some of our sweet 100s have tons of tomatoes on them. I don't know if you can see. They're, they're not very big yet, but... This one has a bunch of them on it. And some of our other yard tomatoes have, have started sprouting as well. Started fruiting, fruiting, that's the word. It's sprouting. Oh, we got this big tripod. I don't know if you can see it in the corner there. It's like a, yeah, you can. That uh, copper looking deal. It's got. A sprinkler on top of it. It's kind of cool. It's like 20 bucks at Menards. Menards is kind of a Midwesty thing, I suppose. So, northern Midwesty thing. 
um, like Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. So you can see our tomatoes are getting bigger over there. And this guy that we weren't sure if it was going to take off or not, our sunchokes, has new sprouts down, or new, new leaves down there and up here, so it's doing well. That Japanese cucumber, and what it's up to. Got a lot of flowers. Well, a lot, a few flowers. So, and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes. It's gonna be our project here in the next com coming couple weeks is to get the cement mixer out here and mix up a batch of. Uh, mortar or whatever you want to call it to patch this this uh, what stucco I guess basically stucco I was gonna smear a layer of, of concrete over it and then put some fiberglass stuff down onto it some some really light matting and then just cover it with stucco <sighs> peppers have tons of flowers on them no I don't believe any of these guys have fruits yet I don't see any but there's flowers I can barely see them out here now but they're there there's probably at least about 15 20 flowers on those tucked away under the leaves kind of like how, how this guy is you see that one there this is a small flower anyway and then there's, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's, <laughs> it is what it is. So there's my transport to Texas. We have a lease on it. It's got uh, only 18,000 miles on it. We're at uh, two years in. So we have like nine months left. Oh, I have to go around to the back. I don't have my keys on me yet. So. So I have like 18,000 miles I can put on in the next nine months, so, yeah, make a couple trips down to Texas at 3,000 miles a piece, and <laughs> there you go. Anyway, alright, see you guys along the way.